Hey you, I wanted to let you know that you're beautiful. That you might have heard from your boyfriend that you have an ugly body. That you're not worthy. That nobody will want you. And I'm going to tell you that's a lie. If you're patient and you wait and you let go of those that do not serve your highest purpose that God will place that man or that woman in your life. No matter, even if we're doing bad things, no matter if we are the villain in someone's story, you're worthy. It's just that you need to let go. Because once you let go, God will give you all the blessings that's meant for you. Stop trying to steal other people's. Even that job, even if it's a job, if people are harassing you, if the, the boss is making you doing, do things that you're not supposed to, leave. Because once you leave, God has another one. The thing is, the magic to living is putting your faith, actually it's having faith, and then putting it in God. When God tells you to move, if someone's mistreating you somewhere, that's your angel speaking to you. If you feel like you can't take it anymore, move. God will never let you be hungry. He will, or without, he will always place someone somewhere to give you a little something. That's why God teaches you not to be materialistic. Because there's other things that's important that you need to survive. Have faith and keep the hope. And yes, God does test us. Because after he's taking us away from people that are not meant to be in our lives and taking us away from that job because he sees that someone's trying to steal your license. He's seen that people know where you work. So they're, they want to start chaos. They, they want you to lose your license. They want you to lose your job. Get the hell out. I did. I didn't even blink. The minute I found out someone was starting shit within my job, calling my boss and my boss being the devil himself at times, I bounced. Because I wanted to keep my license. My license in me was better than anything. I knew that there was something going on. God wanted me to move and I kept moving and I didn't look back. Remember what happened to Lot's wife when she looked back at Sodom?